My name is Ryan Burke, and I just love guitars. That's why I'm traveling the whole world to try as many as I can. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum Road Case. This episode is brought to you by Tysco Pedals. I use them. I love them. Maybe you will, too. Tour Gear Designs and their amazingly small and flat patch cables. Big Ear Pedals with their mysterious multi-effect, Albi. And Gun Street Wiring Shop. Unlock your guitar's hidden tones with an expertly crafted custom wiring harness. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum. And in this video, I'm going to get unboxy here at Pitbull Audio with two guitars that are kind of higher in. For my taste anyways, these are in the, uh, the $1,600, $1,700 kind of price point. They're sitting behind me in boxes. So let's get at them. And then we'll play a little bit of which one would I buy after I uh, mess around with them for a little bit. It comes in a real case. That is fancy. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is pretty. It smells nice too. Look at this. Mm mm. And then the next box. A GNL. This one really caught my eye. I was looking at it online. Look at that. All sparkly and gold. CFL Research, Fullerton, California. We've got two Californians here, guys. I'm one too. We've got three Californians in this video. All right, let's start out with the Fender. I don't remember the model name of this thing, but man, this dark, all rosewood neck, blonde body with a gold anodized pit guard, two post trim on here, floating a little bit. I don't usually like to float my strat trims, but a lot of people do. What a looker. Let's see how it sounds and plays. Obviously it needs a tune. There is a Strat neck pickup. I'm hoping that when I put my strap back together, I can get it playing and sounding as good as this does. I'm getting real strong first impressions off of it. Back to the middle. Oh, I had the tone down on it. Bridge. It's hard to argue with a good strat, guys. It just is. And there's so, it's, it's so funny because strats are just kind of the ubiquitous, like, default guitar. When you close your eyes and think of an electric guitar, oftentimes you think of a strat. Don't argue with me. I know, I know you Les Paul fans are out there. Uh, but anyways, like, culturally, this is what an electric guitar is. But, like, the switching 
layout, the control layout of Strats is so unique. It's such a kind of quirky design in a lot of ways, but somehow it's just won a place in guitar culture as almost the standard example of what an electric guitar is. <laughs> I don't think we spend enough time thinking about how weird a Strat actually can be. All right, let's play something surfy, then I'll switch over to the GNL. <laughs> I think uh, some notes on this. I'm not, I think it's, it's striking and it's beautiful, but I don't think I'm into this dark rosewood neck. There's something about it that feels just uh, too textural to me. It's sanded completely smooth, but it's got some like, you know, just some wood grain to it that uh, I'm not a fan of. I, I do tend to like you know, a finished neck a little better. Like a, you know, even a satin neck that has a clear coat on it or a, uh, even a gloss neck I tend to like. But this is more like an oiled neck. It's not quite my thing. But it is very beautiful. If this was my guitar, I would set up the bridge differently. It wouldn't be floating like this. And I bet I could squeeze the action just a little bit lower on this thing. But uh, it plays very nice. I very much enjoyed playing this just now. All right, the GNL Skyhawk. We featured uh, a mangled one of these, an original run from the 80s on the podcast a few weeks back. I mean, depending on when you're watching this, maybe a few months back. Um, I thought it was just a pretty striking design. I really like how it's stratty, but the horns are just a bit different. The body's just a bit different. Beautiful gold sparkle on this. You know I love a gold guitar. And this is gold for sure. It has a little bit of a film of what I think is polishing compound left on it. There might be some sort of wax or something like that. It's so slight and it just wipes away with my hand revealing that sparkle. Patented pickups in these, patent number 422-0069. Nice. I'm sure it's gonna need a tune. Not too far off, but we'll tune it. Twang machine right out of the gate. Pickup doesn't have that classic strat quack to it. But it sounds smooth and warm. But man, that bridge, it has got some personality. fresh tune. It just came out of the box. Go easy on it, guys. Let's hear it without the drive. Oh, there are 
it is. I flicked that switch and now the, uh, the neck pickup sounds the way I expected it to. <laughs> I'm assuming that uh, that knob is one of those like base contour knobs or something like that. I'm not sure what the switch does. Maybe some kind of series parallel thing. I don't know. Let's see how that uh, base contour affects a fuzz. <laughs> This is a pretty wonderful playing guitar. The fret ends on it are mirror ball smooth. Very well polished fret, heavier fret wire than the Fender. Much bigger fret. There's some days I prefer thin wire and some days I prefer heavy. There's no reason you can't have guitars with either. What do you guys prefer? Let me know down in the comments. Team heavy fret, team light fret. And you team medium fret people? I don't even want to hear about it. I gotta jump back to the Strat real quick. See how it makes me feel right after playing that. I was really enjoying that GNL. Huge difference in the pickups.
turn it down. I want that little bit of splash. Back to the G and L. This is a tough decision, guys. Tricky. I kind of wish I could uh, combine the two. For me, for how I like to sound, the pickups in the Fender are my choice. That's just how I like to sound. That's the tone I go for, that quacky, like just classic Fender sound. The pickups in these are great. I think they're better suited for higher gain uh, distorted sort of sounds for over overdriven sounds like these just are that surfy clean high character sort of thing where these are more subdued uh, more even smoother maybe um, more modern sounding I love the body style on this I love that it's different I love that gold sparkle obviously but I get some gold on this too with that anodized pick guard but I love being different and this is different I also prefer the neck finish on this to this beautiful but unconventional, you know, feel the grain, rosewood, oil finish kind of neck. But if, if I had to be honest with myself right now, if I was uh, plopping down money, I think I'd go with the Strat. That's where my gut is right now. That's where my heart is. My heart is going for the Strat right now in this moment. I mean, still, this GNL is a bunch of fun. All right, I'll play out with the Strat. What did you think? Which did you think sounded better? I know you can't hold them and play in the way I just did, but what are your opinions? Let me know down in the comments. Did I choose right? Did I choose wrong? All right, well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. I was gonna just say rude comments or nasty comments, but leave them both. Uh, support us on Patreon, buy a shirt. Uh, go check out the links for Pitbull Audio and for all the sponsors, if I'm able to rustle up some sponsors for this uh, little travel series I'm doing. And stay grounded. Bye, everybody. <laughs>
Thank you.